So what do you think? I think this is probably the best thing we've ever done. Hi, we're Elder and Sister Garns from Mesa, Arizona, and we're missionaries here in the Colorado Denver North Mission. And we really do feel like this is just one of the best things we've ever done. We love Colorado. We'd like to share a little bit with you of some of our experience here. The night we arrived, we heard a knock at the door and surprise, there stood four smiling young elders and then four sister missionaries welcoming us. We immediately fell in love with them, which has only grown as we see their dedication and enthusiasm for serving their Savior. Every week, we meet with the missionaries in their district councils where we discuss together about how to teach the gospel and how to reach the hearts of their investigators. Also at these meetings, Sister Garns and I occasionally give a short life skills lesson, anything from human relations skills to keeping your shoes shined. We like to bake, so every six weeks when we have transfers, we bake zucchini bread and then we take a little loaf of it to each of the new missionaries to welcome them into the zone here. Except the time you burned them. And then we had to, to make a quick trip to crumble cookies. We did, we did. We were also given the assignment to inspect missionary apartments. It's become one of our favorite things. Delicious. The apartments are... <laughs> The apartments are generally clean, and it's a great time to see the sisters and elders, get to know them better, and give them some encouragement. And sometimes, we get to help fix things. We love to go with them on their lessons and feel the spirit and truth they bring to the homes of their contacts. Our role is to share testimony and just love the people. And that's not hard. Sometimes there are things that investigators would rather discuss with someone who's older. In one instance, a sister, while we were visiting her, told us of hard life experiences that made it difficult for her to believe in a loving God. So it was hard to accept the missionary's message. As we were leaving, Sister Garns reached out, gave her a hug, and said from her heart, I want you to know you are a daughter of a heavenly father who knows you and loves you. He knows and understands what you've been through. The spirit touched her. Tears came to the sister's eyes. And her heart was now opened in a way that it hadn't been before on another occasion, simply on an impression or prompting, Elder Garns sent a text to a brother who at that exact time, unknown to us, was wavering and doubting about being baptized. It helped him follow through. He was baptized that very weekend, and two weeks later he baptized his own two sons. What a happy and uh, rewarding that experience was for us. So there are times and ways we can give support or testimony that actually makes a difference. A phrase heard often is, bring whatever you have. Elder Garns is an artist, so he brings art to the table. As a result, we had a delightful evening with nine primary girls. The missionaries gave a lesson and story about baptism leading to the temple, and then we helped the girls paint pictures of the Denver temple. We got some really creative interpretations, didn't we? We did. We did. It was really fun. We're grateful for all the time that we get to spend together and work together. We love our daily walk. Colorado really has become our favorite place. Another blessing has been studying the gospel together. We've come to a deeper understanding and gratitude for just basic principles like faith, 
repentance, and baptism. And it's been a great time for us to come closer together. We are so grateful to be here. The Lord loves his missionaries, and we love them too. And we thank our Heavenly Father that we can be a small part of this wonderful work.